piece of history coming to Jacksonville. A Holocaust Memorial Gallery is opening soon on the south side. Today, we spoke with a local Holocaust survivor who hopes you'll visit it. Channel 4's Crystal Moyer has this heartbreaking but inspiring story. Sahor means remember. And at 89, Manfred Katz remembers how he survived the Holocaust. In 1943, at the young age of 15, he was torn from his family in Germany and forced onto a train by Nazi soldiers. My parents standing on the curb, my dad holding my young sister in his arms. And at that point, that was the last time we saw each other. For two years, he worked hard labor at concentration camps like Kaiserwald and Stutthof. He says tens of thousands of other Jews were taken to a nearby forest but never returned. Open graves, pits had been opened, and they were just summarily murdered there. But Katz survived. After his rescue, he came to the U.S. where he finished school and became an engineer in the aerospace industry. He married and has four sons with children of their own. He's one of many survivors featured in the Fresh Family Holocaust Memorial Gallery. Positive images representing their survival in life after tragedy. Hopefully, some of the people that come and see this take back a message and they change their behavior. They're thinking. It's housed inside Jewish Family and Community Service's new building on the south side. After 100 years, the nonprofit continues to offer a variety of family support services to people in Northeast Florida, no matter their religious background. They're all represented in the artifacts that will be sealed in a time capsule for the next 25 years. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station. The nonprofit center offers counseling services, financial assistance, and has a food pantry. A ribbon cutting ceremony will be held Sunday. The public is invited. The information is on newsforjax.com.